So, wir haben das Pferd jetzt fertig geputzt. Aber bevor wir dann den Sattel auflegen... We just finished grooming the horse. But before we will saddle the horse, we have to make sure that there is no dirt left on the saddle area that could cause rubbing spots when the horse is saddled. ...oder Scheuerstellen später entstehen, wenn der Sattel dann auf der Sattelfläche drauf liegt. So, bevor ich dann den Sattel auf das Pferd lege... Before saddling the horse, we have to make sure that the stirrup irons and the girth are somehow fixed to the top of the saddle, so that they don't bother the horse while getting saddled. The girth can also be taken off for the procedure. So, wenn ich den Sattel auflege... When placing the saddle on the horse, make sure to place it further to the front, so that you can then pull it down into the perfect position. Also, in case you're using a fur blanket like we see here, it is very important that the fur is not bending underneath the saddle blanket, so that rubbing spots and bruises on the horse's back can be avoided. When pulling the saddle into place, you will notice that it actually finds a right fitting spot on its own, because of the horses with us that fit pretty well with the saddle channel. It is also important that we have a little air pocket right here, so that the saddle blanket isn't pulled tight by the saddle, and when riding doesn't put pressure on the withers. Therefore, always lift up the saddle after finding the fitting spot and create a little hole in the saddle channel. Alright, now let's take a look at the other side of the horse. Looks like the saddle fits well. Then we can clean the girth to make sure that there is no sand or dirt underneath. When closing the girth, make sure that you are not closing it too tight, because horses tend to balloon a little at the beginning and we don't want to hurt the horse. Ein bisschen auf und damit das den Pferden nicht weh tut, schnalle ich den Gurt dann nur bis zum zweiten Loch zu. When the rider gets on the horse, we can tighten the girth up completely, but we have to make sure that there is still room for at least two fingers. Also, girth and saddle shouldn't be too close to the horse's shoulder, so that its elbow doesn't touch the saddle when running. This again could lead to rubbing spots and bruises, which should be prevented.